All right, we are back in Central Texas. Get the chainsaw going. I got the best help money can buy, which is my dad, unfortunately. But uh, we're gonna cut this area out that I did a little bit of an intro about what we're gonna do. Uh, but uh, about what we're gonna do for next year. So I'm gonna do try and do a little time lapse on this little area that we're cutting. <laughs> This right here, this is actually a scrape that we had Shorty on on video off the game cam. So we're leaving all these yopons and stuff kind of, we're leaving all the yopons out on the edge because the hopes is literally just for that mid November kind of hunting, have some does bust through and get ran around in this opening. But for as far as like pre rut and late rut, it's going to be a really accessible spot up here for these deer. So post rut, hopefully we got some bucks coming back into the the corn and then pre-rut you said we're leaving all these like yo ponds and stuff that these deer tend to make their scrapes on and my hope is if we can cut kind of a good line through here just have some scrape lines coming maybe pre-season or just when that pre-rut hits that first of november kind of when the deer start expanding their home ranges so looks good right now as you can see there's a whole lot of light back here so i may have to make another trip just to cut down a bunch of these like kind of forbsy stuff like the yo ponds the real small stuff in the opening so that way it's still kind of clean for when I hunt it. But looks good so far, I'm excited.
Woo. All right. So we're done up on this hilltop doing what we wanted to do. Uh, I know in a previous video, uh, talked about how I wanted to clean a lot of these young and kind of immature pine trees out. Just the ones that there's so many of back here choke out the light and to make it kind of clustered for these deer granted you know canopy on them starts five six feet in the air so they run underneath them no problem but i wanted to clear this out and uh for this to be our main spot to hunt this coming year and we're done and it looks looks pretty great uh you can see uh one of the big things i wanted to do was to keep these lines of yopons out on the side on the edges uh a lot of these deer they like to make these scrapes on the ground on these yopons i don't know how well you can see it but it was actually a pretty big scrape we had shorty on got a couple of videos on him on him of him on him but we really i mean my main thing is look how much light is back here that's what i wanted to do i wanted to have a real big opening uh we kind of we're choking down some of these trails which i guess you could say a pro and con to it uh, a lot of these a lot of people will be like man you should have should have hinge cut that make bedding but thing is i don't want to make bedding uh i want to hunt these deer during the rut and pre-rut as effectively as i can so uh what we did is we just made a big area to uh have some deer running around you can come and uh plan is usually a north kind of like the northeast wind we get will actually be blowing straight back this direction off the property uh shorty we know comes in from a lot of the trails right here and a lot of these deer come from the right away so on that northeast wind we can hang a tree or hang us yeah we can hang a tree no we can uh hang a stand right here in this pine tree get up there and then uh we can hunt the north winds effectively and still have a 20 yard shot at the feeder and then whenever we had that kind of south wind like early september i always no matter if it's 100 degrees i try and hunt uh pre not pre-season but beginning of the season i think what we decided on is i don't know how well you can see it but it's a big pine tree back there we're gonna hang a stand on but anyways my battery's about to die but look at this opening we're gonna kill one out of it here this next week next year plenty of trails coming in here wide open in here we're gonna be able to shoot a big area it's gonna be a good year